Hello, welcome once again to Leto's Law. I'm Steve Leto. You're probably wondering why I'm hanging my laundry behind me. <laughs> I mentioned the other day that I run quite a bit and also bike quite often. And I run uh, every other morning, about five miles. Um, and then uh, in the evenings, I often go biking, depending on the distance, where I am, and that kind of thing. Uh, it can vary. But one of the things that I, I think it's important for us to talk about, because of what happened this morning, I was running wearing this shirt, okay? So this is a rather bright yellow shirt. Um, I think you can see that, um, right? And I'm running wearing this shirt, and I'm, I'm running down the roadway, as I always am, and I was running on the far left side of the road on a dirt road out in the middle of nowhere, okay? Miles from my house. And there's a car coming, and I can see the car coming because I'm on the left side of the road like I'm supposed to be. And as the car comes towards me, the guy starts veering like he's aiming his car at me. Now, the road is crowned, and then there's a ditch and, and like a gully on both sides. And there's a couple houses scattered about, but, you know, it's, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But I can see the guy's aiming his car at me. He's literally coming towards me. And so I, I, I get as far over to the left as I can, but there's, there's no traffic coming towards him. He doesn't have to do this. He's, he's clearly aiming his car at me. And I've had people who think that's funny to do that, and they swerve or something like that. So as, as he aimed his car at me, I basically had to step off the roadway, and I yelled at him. And I kept running. And, of course, I hear the car going to reverse behind me, and I turn to look. And sure enough, he's backing his car up. He's, he's, he's going he's to speak to me because I yelled at him. <laughs> so I stop in the roadway because I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to keep running while he can drive in reverse. So I stop, and, 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 and he gets out of his car, and he starts screaming at me. And he goes, what are you yelling at me for? And I go, uh, you almost ran me over? And he goes, I couldn't see you. I'm wearing this shirt. And I look at the guy, and I go, you couldn't see this shirt. And he goes, no. He goes, you need to wear something bright if you're going to be out here running. So now my, my, my thought is, it's possible he's colorblind. I, I don't, I've known a couple of people who are colorblind, and I forgot which colors they can and cannot see. And so I actually went like this with the shirt that I was wearing, and I said, are you colorblind? And I meant it as a legitimate question. And he goes, no need to insult me. He goes, you, you're the one who's running in the middle of the road, and I can't see you. And first of all, I wasn't in the middle of the road. I was as far to the left as you can get without standing or running in the mud that's in the ditch, okay? But the thing is, legally, I was doing the right thing. He was breaking the law. Now, I know that some people are going to immediately go, but Steve, you can be right and be dead, so you need to be careful. Of course, I'm not saying I shouldn't be careful. But what I'm pointing out here is that I was running in the road, far left side, as I'm allowed to do, under Michigan law, and this guy, for whatever reason, thought it would be funny, or perhaps he doesn't like seeing people run on his road, and decided to run me off the road, and, and kind of like, I'm in a car, you're not, ha, 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 as if I don't own a car also, or something. I, you know, I, I don't know. So anybody who runs a lot, or bikes a lot, and I, and I know there's a lot of you out there in my audience, because we talk about this, um, Understand there are people out there who don't know what the laws are regarding pedestrians and bicyclists on the road. So I'm going to explain to you what the law is in Michigan, why I was right, and why the idiot who tried to kill me was wrong. And then many states have got laws similar to this. Some states are even more restrictive, meaning that they give better protections to pedestrians. But Michigan's kind of a middle-of-the-road state. But let me first explain to you what you'll find if you simply go to the Michigan State Police website or the Secretary of State's website, which is our, uh, you know, like our DMV. And it says, pedestrians are reminded, and this is given in the form of advice, but I'll get the law in a second. But in the form of advice, the government will tell you, pedestrians should walk on the side of the road as far to the left as possible or on a paved shoulder if there is one. Against oncoming traffic when there are no sidewalks. So when I was on the country road out in the middle of nowhere, there is no sidewalk, there's no shoulder, the road crowns and boom, right into a ditch. So I can walk on the road 
so long as I'm as far to the left as possible against oncoming traffic. I was completely right with what I was doing. If you're going to cross the street at an intersection or designated crosswalk when possible, always stop, look left, right, and then left before crossing. Do not rely solely on pedestrian traffic signals. Now that, of course, is just advice there. And then they tell you if you're going to pass next to a parked vehicle, come to the edge of the parked vehicle, stop and look both ways. If it's blocking the view of the street before entering the street, this is also recommended before crossing in front of a stopped vehicle at an intersection if there are additional travel lanes in the same direction. Try to make eye contact with drivers before crossing in front of them and do not assume that because you can see the driver that they can see you. Even if you are wearing clothing that is brighter than the surface of the sun. Watch for cars that are turning or backing up. And that's something else is a lot of times I'll be running or biking and I see someone backing down their driveway. And you make a point. To make sure they see you, wave, whatever, you know, and understand that if you're backing down a driveway, you can't see as well as if you're pulling forward. I understand that. Be vigilant in parking lots, especially when accompanying small children. Increase visibility at night by carrying a flashlight when walking and by wearing light-colored or reflective clothing that highlights body movements. Bicyclists should always ride with traffic. And this confuses people. I've had people tell me that they think that bicyclists should ride against traffic, and the problem is the closing speeds increase so dramatically that you don't want that. So always ride with traffic. Obey the rules of the road, uh, including traffic signs. Uh, wear bicycle helmets, reflective clothing. Stay as far to the right as practical in riding in traffic lanes. Do not ride more than two abreast. I would suggest you ride single file if you can't just allow cars to get by you. Um, avoid entering the roadway without first stopping to look for vehicles. Ride predictably and defensively. And, and predictably is the key here. If you're riding along and all of a sudden you do one of these, it's understandable that a car driver wouldn't expect to see that. And, I, and I, you know, I'm always hyper vigilant when I'm riding a, or driving my car and, I'm, and I see children on bicycles. Because children in particular can act unpredictable. I've seen adults do it too. I've seen adults riding three abreast, four abreast, blocking the road. And then they look back and all of a sudden one of them cuts over the other side. Never split up. So the car goes down the middle. It's, it's, it's idiotic. And by the way, if you're in a car, never go between bicyclists because their natural instinct is, is to close on each other. Um, always yield to pedestrians if you're on a bicycle. And if you can, have a headlight and a rear reflector of riding after dark or in low light conditions. And so then here's the thing. They give advice for drivers. Okay, Look out for and always yield the right of way to people walking, jogging, biking, etc. So you have to yield to them. You're supposed to yield to me when I'm jogging. <laughs> You're not supposed to aim your car at me to teach me a lesson. Pull out slowly from driveways and parking areas, watching for vulnerable road users, including children and others. Stop fully before turning at driveways and intersections to make sure you do not cut off pedestrians or approaching bicyclists. Never turn right immediately after passing a cyclist because they could hit you. Uh, do not pass vehicles stopped at crosswalks as they may be allowing a pedestrian to cross the street. Uh, yield to anyone crossing the street when turning left on a green light. Watch for surprising changes in directions, especially by children. And when parallel parked, check for approaching cyclists before opening your door. So <clears throat> that's the advice that the state police and the Secretary of State's office give out. But again, the laws are very clear on this. So for instance, if you are walking on the road, or running on the road, or jogging on the road, or running very slowly on the road. I'm not setting any world records out there. Uh, MCL 257-655, where sidewalks are provided, a pedestrian shall not walk upon the main traveled portion of the highway. So if there's a sidewalk, use it. Where sidewalks are not provided, pedestrians shall, when practicable, walk on the left side of the highway facing traffic which passes nearest. So if there's a sidewalk, use it. If there's no sidewalk, you are then allowed to walk on the left side of highway that is facing traffic and you're, you're simply to walk where practicable. So if the road crowns and then goes into a ditch, you don't have to walk in the ditch. You don't have to run in the ditch. You can walk and run as near to the left side of the crown as you can, to the left side, as, as, as far over as practicable, okay? So you can do that. So I was perfectly legal where I was running this morning. The guy who tried to run me over or act, wanted to act like he was going to run me over, 
um, with breaking the law. So then with respect to bicycles, I'm going to tell you there's, there's a couple laws on bicycles. And the first one is each person riding a bicycle, electric bicycle, and then it gives a whole list of other things up to a moped, has all of the rights and is subject to all of the duties applicable to the driver of a vehicle under this chapter, except for regulations which by their nature do not apply. So bicyclists on the road have all the same rights, but all the same duties as a person in a vehicle. So as long as they're riding in the correct direction of traffic and they're to the far right, they have every right to be there. And in fact, they have the same right to be there as you do. And <clears throat> I've talked about this with my brother. One of my brothers is a very, very avid cyclist. And he used to live out in the country, uh, 20 miles from where I live right now. And he told me, he said, he goes, he goes for these long bike rides on the weekends. And he goes, and occasionally he runs into yahoos who would yell at him to get off the road. And, and you know, can you imagine just driving around and just yelling at people to get off the road? Um, why not go yell at other cars to get off the road? Uh, the person on the bicycle has every right to be there. Every right, every legal right to be there. And so then, with respect to how you drive or ride a bicycle on the road compared to drive a car, is MCL 257-660-A, operation of bicycle upon highway or street. A person operating a bicycle upon a highway or street at less than the existing speed of traffic shall ride as close as practicable to the right-hand curb or edge of the roadway, except as follows. And it says, when overtaking and passing another bicyclist, or overtaking and passing another vehicle proceeding the same direction, or when preparing to turn left, or when conditions make the right-hand edge of the roadway unsafe, then they can move over. But the point is that the bicyclist has all the rights as a car, but just needs to keep the right. The pedestrian, who is a runner, jogger, hiker, walker, whatever you want to call it, but they're a pedestrian, they're on foot. They have all these rights also, but just on the left side of the road. So if you're out there on the country roads and there's no sidewalks and there's someone in the road, if they're on a bicycle on the far right, they have every right to be there exactly the same as you. So give them a wide berth and go around them. A runner, walker, jogger, pedestrian who is coming towards you has every right to be on the road also, so give them a wide berth. And, and you know, like I said, when I'm out running, and like I said, I, I run a lot. I ran, I think it's five or 600 miles last year, maybe more. Uh, and then I ran the Free Press Marathon. As I talked about before, they give me one of these. Um, when I'm out running, I encounter traffic. And, and so, you know, I... I, I I'm running down the road, and there's a portion I run where it's paved, but there's no sidewalk. And so I run on, on the, basically on the white line, the, 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 the margin, the white line edge of the road. And as soon as the car comes towards me, I will step off and run on the shoulder, because the shoulder where it's paved is actually flat and about three or four feet wide. So I'll actually step off and run on the far edge of the shoulder, just so these people can go by with, with no problems. But when I get on the dirt road, and there is no white line to show me where the edge of the road is, I just run as far over to the edge as I can, and then if I see a car coming towards me, I will move over as far as I can. And sometimes it's uncomfortable because the road's crowned, so occasionally you find yourself running on an uneven surface. But you run along and you, and you get as far to the left as you can. And most drivers, when they see me do that, will often do the exact same counter move where they'll go a little bit to the inside, especially if nobody's coming. And they'll often wave, and I'll wave back. We'll make eye contact. We have a moment. We acknowledge each other's existence. And that's what's supposed to happen. And I've had it happen before, where I've been out running, and I'm as far to the edge as I can get, and there's a car coming behind me, or maybe a bunch of cars coming from behind me, and the person coming this way doesn't think they can get by me, so they either stop or they slow down and keep, like they're, like they're coming towards me. But the thing is, like I said before, I have every right to be there. And if there's a car parked here, would you ram it? You'd work your way around it. If the car was legally parked, you'd, you'd work your way around it. You wouldn't ram it to get it out of the way. And so the idea that some people have, like, well, this guy's just, he's just running. He, he can go around me as I come towards him. I, I will, because I don't want to die to prove a point. 
but I don't, you know, legally I'm, I'm where I'm supposed to be. And so if we come at each other and the only way for me to get out of your way is to step down into a mud and, and water filled ditch, I'm not going to do that. And I mean, I, I will, if I have to, to save my life. Okay. But the point is that the people in the cars need to respect the people who are running, jogging, walking or bicycling, because again, they have every right to be there. So back to the guy who said he couldn't see this because it was not a color that the average person can see. Um, I think what happened was that originally he was offended that I was out running on his road. He'd never seen me before because I actually took a different route this morning. I never run this particular way before. It's another story, which I'll tell you in another video. But um, I was running down a road I've never run, never run before. And this guy probably just thought, hey, I've never seen this guy before. I'm going to teach him a lesson. And so he decides to veer towards me. And then when I yelled at him, he's like, hey, he's yelling at me. I, you know, I, I, this is my road. <laughs> so here's the thing. The idea about how you behave towards a bicyclist or how you behave towards a jogger or how the jogger or the bicyclist behave, it's actually all in the law. It's, it's all there. We're not making this stuff up. We're not fighting over who gets to use the road that's already been settled. It was settled by the legislature when they passed these laws. And oh, by the way, I'm actually wearing a running shirt right now. I wore this specifically. This is a shirt for the uh, Crim 10 mile road race that they run every year in Flint, Michigan. So I ran it last year. They gave me this nice shirt. I'll probably run it again this year. Another story again, altogether. So there you have it. Uh, if you're in a car and you see a bicyclist or a jogger, if they're doing the right thing, respect them, wave, make eye contact, smile. Hey, they're out there getting some exercise. And if you're out running or biking or whatever, follow the law, but pay attention because there are idiots out there who will say things like, I couldn't see you in that bright yellow shirt. Questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, talk to you later. Bye-bye.